Hello guys, welcome back to this update episode of my CLS 63 AMG. Now recently I've been toying with the idea of getting a front lip spoiler. Now eBay is full of these ranging from the ultra expensive real carbon fibre versions to cheaper types such as this plaster dip version. So if you're planning on getting the same for your car, make sure that you do your research and get the correct version as there's two different types, one for AMG models and one for standard models. If any of you have ever purchased anything from an eBay seller based in China, you'll know that generally the items take ages to arrive as they're normally sent by sea rather than air. Now this item had free shipping, so I wasn't expecting to see it for a good couple of weeks. Lo and behold, however, it was here the very next week. So as I previously mentioned, this item isn't actually proper carbon fiber. I think it's just been plaster dipped. However, as you can see, the finish is excellent. And also, if you can see the part which will attract to the actual bumper, it's just gloss black and doesn't have the carbon effect. Now this lip appears to be fiberglass, which of course is nowhere near as strong as carbon fibre. However, I'm not willing to spend over a £1,000 on a part which will be located in quite possibly the most vulnerable part of the car. Now I can't imagine that this install is going to be much trouble, unlike the rear diffuser as this has a relatively flat surface which it looks like I can actually simply apply some adhesive and maybe a handful of screws. Okay so we fast forward quarter of an hour and I've just been round the lip and drilled in a series of holes with my trusty Dremel. Now we shouldn't really need these but just to where it's going to be located on the car it's best to be safe than sorry. Now the lip itself came with a number of self-tapping screws as well as washers and amazingly these appear to be stainless steel so they won't rust. As for the adhesive, I use Sica, sorry, Sikaflex it's called, uh, it's the Sikaflex EBT in black. Now this stuff is amazing, it's completely weatherproof and it dries fairly quick and I've used it in the past for my lip spoiler on my old CLS. So I'm going to go around the lip with the adhesive in a wavy fashion to make sure that all of it's covered. Now if you check the description below and I'll add a link to it. So here you see I've used around two thirds of a container's worth making sure I didn't go too close to the edges to prevent it from squeezing out the sides. And you don't want this stuff going where it shouldn't. It's a total nightmare to clean off. And there you have it. It's holding in place even without the need for any screws. Now I thoroughly recommend that you get the help of another person when attaching it to prevent any issues with the adhesive spreading or any other issues. Now amazingly it's also an excellent fit. Obviously I test fitted this before applying the grill but for an aftermarket part I'd say it's 99% perfect fit. Now just to be on the safe side I will go ahead and attach the screws also. And just to show and prove I didn't cut any corners, I did attach eight screws overall, spread evenly across the lip, just to be on the safe side. And they drill into the underside of the bumper, so if I was ever to remove this, the holes wouldn't be visible. An hour later and it's rock solid and isn't going anywhere. Overall the ground clearance at the front is reduced by probably around 3cm or so, so not a massive amount. Now my only concern going forward is just the lip getting caught on a car park curb. As I have no lift system on this CLS, I will not be able to unhook the bumper should the worst happen.
So here it is, the final result. Now I'm more than pleased with the outcome and the final look. I think it kind of adds a real aggression to the front end of the car and almost looks factory. Now compared to the rear diffuser, this is a really easy modification and took probably around two hours from start to finish. Now apologies for the dirty car, due to the weather I've not had time to give it a good clean and while it's been sunny I thought I'd come and take a few photos and video. Now thanks for watching this episode on my CLS 63 AMG. Now make sure you check out the rest of the series to see all the mods and updates I carry out. If you enjoyed this episode, please click on that like button, it really does help the channel out. And if you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be notified for all my future videos. Until next time, thanks for watching, cheers.